So scaling, yes, I'm glad, I'm glad that you like my joke. <laughs> scaling. This morning I was thinking, how can I use this picture <laughs> and have like, an explanation for this being an actual metaphor and not just a joke? Um, but basically, imagine that you're, you're, you're fishing and you catch yourself a fish. You're like, yes, I've got this. It's kind of like when you launch a website. You launch the website, people are arriving on it, and you're like, yes, I'm done. But actually, you're not done. Your fish is covered with scales. Okay, you need to go through this scaling process <laughs> before it's ready for you to like consume. Okay, and so as with our website, when you know the 48 hours and the all the people and and the things, we were like, you know, this is really scary. What if our website, which is bringing all these tiles out there and sucking all these tiles out of Mapbox, like. Are those are going to add up into numbers, or maybe just it's going to be slow and people are going to stop sharing it. Like if it gets too popular, it'll just it'll stop itself from becoming popular. So there are really like a bunch of things we did for that. Like, are you going to look up Roku, or, or no, are you he's just, just tapping? He's just typing. Okay, I don't have my glasses, so I can't even tell. Okay, but yeah, so there are a couple things there. Like for the tiles that we were getting from Carter DB. They were too slow just when we were testing it among ourselves. So I wrote something in Node.js, which is like a tile cache store thing. So every time we request a tile, instead of calling up CarterDB and asking them to make it for us, we just made all the tiles once and kind of like <coughs> put them in, in a mem cache. So that as soon as like that request comes again, that we're ready for it and we send it back out to you. So you notice how when I'm scrolling on the website, it's gray, but then all the, all the things fill in? Those are little picture tiles, literally like little pictures. And what happens when you move the map is it says, hey, Carter DB, give me all the tiles that I asked for. And it sends them literally to your browser and makes them out in the right place. So either the, the actual tiles being sent to your browser, you can look at them individually. They're just little pictures. Um, Most of them are going to be blank, though. It's not really as exciting. Um, here's, here's one. This is just the, the overlay of that piece of the line one, right? Um, and we were getting so many from Mapbox for the base map and CarterDB for all the lines that I'm going to be bored forever now because $300 is a lot of money. So instead, we put a layer in front of it that stores all of the, the, the tiles. And now it's asking for, we're cheating these companies and not getting all the tiles from them. We're getting them from this intermediary place that is much cheaper. Well, I don't want to describe that as cheating. It's actually helping them. Right. They, except, except the part we don't pay them. Right, there's that part. <laughs> that doesn't matter. But yeah, yeah. So, so, we, so I said it was a Node app, and one of the places you can put your Node app is on Heroku. And the first instance is free, like with any good service and product. Uh, but when you add more services, it starts charging you. But on a monthly basis, like you saw it was like 200 or 300 for that first couple of days. Whereas if we ran at full capacity for a full month we on this site, we still wouldn't reach that. So this is a good. So if you ever heard um, of the cloud, people, what the hell is the cloud? This is literally the cloud. The cloud is a slider, OK? <laughs> there are so six, go up to 12. There are 12. seven, nine, there are now 12 separate computers, all of a sudden, after I move the slider, that are serving those tiles. Before there's one computer. And so if it gets too many requests, it's like, oh god, I can't get those tiles out far enough. Too, too many people want these tiles. So you just add two computers. And three, and four, and five, and then uh, 100 computers. So it saves. If <laughs> <laughs> so if like the Colbert Report or something you know, says that we exist, and we go insane, and the website crashes, I can just do like, oop, 43 computers. And then CNT gets charged you know, that much money. But then we stay up, which in like, this sounds like a whatever. But this used to be a huge pain, because you, you used to only have one physical computer somewhere in your office. And you're like, oh my god, we're getting too much traffic. Now you're going to live in a server farm somewhere, and you're just like, all right, we clearly need to go up to 44 computers. And then you can move this down tomorrow after the traffic spike stops. So this is the cloud, everyone. You pay per uh, hour, is that right? Is it per rated per hour? I think it's by the hour. Yeah, so you could just scale it up really fast, and you won't pay that whole amount. You'll just pay it for as much as you need. But yeah, like before we went into the transit event, we kind of bumped it up a little bit. And then you know when, like overnight, it doesn't have to be so much. And then just as traffic goes down, we'll move it down probably just like two, which is the minimum it needs for it to always be on. Um, hey, so did you, I know this is going to sound like one of those goofy questions, but did you consider like just rendering all the tiles and sticking them in S3 bucket? Yeah, I would have taken longer. Well, I mean, the S3 thing, I guess, I guess the what, thing, the, the reason we don't just put them all into S3, OK, is that like, we actually were in, in the same time changing things on the map. 
And so if we put it all in S3, we have to say these are the tiles that will always the all, all the tiles will ever need. We put them in there. Whereas with this one, like let's say someone has like a super wide like display size screen like this one, and they're looking at it and sees and they're seeing more of uh, the surrounding area around Chicago than we expected. We need to like if we haven't saved a tile, be able for them to say, oh please, I need another tile so we can go and get it. Yeah, so we actually we make a hash of each one of the tile URLs. So like let's say we change the line color to another color like purple. Not that you would do that, but if you change it to purple, then it actually changes the URL and you start getting new tiles right away. Um, so it's kind of weird. Our cache kind of like we can change it in a lot of places. Um, but yeah, yeah. And then the <laughs> no, and, and this slide here. Underscore. This is important or you'll be broke. <laughs> okay, but yeah, there are other stuff on here too. Sorry. Okay, so when you're scaling, when you're scaling uh, without the metaphor, when you're scaling in the website, um, basically if any part of your website is super slow, it becomes the weakest link, and your entire site becomes slow. So, like we mentioned before, Jekyll lets us put the site on GitHub. GitHub has, in recent months, been doing more and more to put it like on a separate traffic friendly thing called a CDN, which means that it's in multiple parts around the world. It's fast for everybody. It's very unlikely, even the, even if GitHub, the service goes down, it's very unlikely that GitHub CDN and our website would go down. Uh, database, we've got no database where it's not a weak link. It's just not there. Uh, JavaScript, uh, I think it's like coming from the site or some other CDNs. It's been pretty good for us. Um, the map tiles I mentioned before, we just had to build that cache because it was the largest and slowest part of the site every time. Just the map. So we built the cache thing. 